Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a new camera yesterday and I really wanted to film with it. And also this makeup challenge that I'm going to be doing today, which you can already tell by the title, has been getting really popular. I saw Mikey do it a long time ago from Glam and Gore. And then obviously I think James Charles and then Nikki Tutorials did it again recently. And then I watched Katie, Katie Hodges's you know um so i'm just gonna link them all down below but i saw hers yesterday and i was like inspired and i wanted to try out filming on my new camera so i figured let's just let's just get started and let's just do this and see what i can come up with so i'm gonna be doing the zodiac makeup challenge i am a libra sun a scorpio moon and a pisces rising so um those colors can go pretty well together but they might it's a little challenging, obviously. So I'm gonna be reading a little bit of, a couple facts about my sun sign, my moon sign, and like them combined, and my Pisces sign. I will say I am much more, like when I read Scorpio attributes or facts, I'm, I connect more to that. So I connect a little bit more to my moon sign as well as like when I read Pisces. Um, attributes and facts I also connect a little bit more to that but yeah I don't know I do feel like I'm I connect to Libra a little bit but not as much Libra's power colors are like I looked it up and it says like pink like a uh, airy pink and an airy blue it's an air sign um, Scorpio I think is also an air sign but their colors are red and then Pisces I believe is a water sign I'm pretty sure it's a water sign and their colors are uh, green so I'm gonna try to make something up I have my Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette because that's like the best palette I have with a lot of pinks and then I'm gonna be using the mini controversy palette because it has like the nice shades of blue and we'll see what we can come up with I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate the red or the green in there but we will see um, so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into the video if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah so let's just get on to it so I have my little thing here that's gonna tell me all about Scorpio <sighs> Libra Scorpio and Pisces um, Actually, this one only tells me about like my Libra Sun and my Scorpio moon and then I'll show you guys a little bit more Or I'll read to you guys a little bit more about Pisces um, so Libra Sun Scorpio mean Scorpio moon people are more decisive and determined than other Libras in the zodiac I do feel like I'm a little bit more determined than you know, like some people perceive Libras to be but I don't think I'm super decisive um, because I'm always just like, even when it comes to like, what do you want to eat? Um, it's literally like the meme where it's like, I don't know, what do you want to eat? Um, but anyway, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Fame Face Primer and the Dewy Lumino. Lumine? Mm -hmm. I don't speak French, but I can if you like. This is just a primer. I'm going to put it all over my face. I might even get it onto my eyes. I'm gonna apply it kind of like a moisturizer more so than anything else. And while I do that, I'm gonna read to you guys a little bit more about a Scorpio moon and a Libra sun. So Scorpio influences them to be thirsty for control and all the power in the world. Intense creatures, they prefer to manipulate and convince rather than to use force. I wouldn't say I'm manipulative, but I do have my moments, as a lot of us do. Got a primer on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and all that stuff. We're Sun Scorpio Moon combination in a nutshell. Positives, inspiring, emotional, and enigmatic. All right. Um, negatives, jealous, cutting, and forceful. I am a little bit jealous, I will admit, like, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not. I don't know if I'm cunning, but I, I don't know. Um, and forceful, I can be forceful when, you know, like, I need to be. Alright, 
and um, my perfect partner is someone who is truly emotionally connected to them advice they must remember about their own needs um, I would say that Matt is a pretty good partner combination I don't um, I don't necessarily like believe like I should go and see if like I don't believe in like checking compatibility using like my zodiac just because um, I'm gonna do what I want to do anyway and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't but I don't think it has anything much to do with like how compatible our zodiac signs are um, Matt is an Aries and he is an Aries Sun an Aries moon and an Aries rising so he's an Aries I will say that we complement each other really well and he is a lot more like emotionally connected to all of the things than I am I feel like sometimes I'm just very unemotional or I try to be um, I don't really like showing my emotions too much which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you are looking at it when involved in an argument, they will never give in. Conflicts will make them curious about people's motives for fighting. They don't only look to bring the peace, they want to know more. That is true. Whenever like Matt and I get in an argument about anything, it could literally be about like we are fighting over like me not deciding what we want to eat or something like that. I will turn it into something much deeper and I will want to know like the reason why we're doing this type of thing and um you know like I always like question like well why why are we doing this or like why are you fighting over this type of thing it's a very big issue I think but you know I'm gonna put on my elf camo concealer under my eyes and then I'm gonna go ahead and just continue reading after I'm done with this step. Personality traits. A chart with the sun in Libra and the moon in Scorpio reveals that people born under this combination are balanced and serene. They think of themselves as seen through the eyes of the public and people usually perceive them as gentle, polite, and inspiring new energy. The harmony they seem to always have in their soul is reached after a long time of emotional search. While they have some inner fears, just like anyone else, they are honest because they have developed a strong connection between their mind and heart. It doesn't matter if men or women, these Libras tend to be secretive lovers who keep their true feelings hidden. That is very like spot on. Um, I don't know. I tend to, like, when I first met Matt, I didn't really want him to know that I was very much interested in him. And even like to this day, I don't really, I'm not like a very lovey person, not to say like I'm cold or anything, but I just, I don't like showing my feelings or my emotions um, because I don't know, I feel like that's going to make me seem silly if something goes wrong, which is a very pessimistic way of looking at it. And I don't think that's what that is saying, but I just, I don't want something to go wrong and then like me have shown my vulnerable side if that makes sense you know i don't know my chart is very heavily influenced with like venus my chart is very heavy with libra and um what's it called libra scorpio and pisces so like most of my chart just consists of libra there's like a sagittarius no there's a couple Capricorn stone in there, but other than that, it's completely like everything is kind of balanced with Scorpio, Libra, and Pisces. So if that tells you anything about me. I'm not super into astrology, but I do know a couple things. Like I've seen my birth chart. Well intended, they will inspire people to be at their best and reach their full potential. It's because they are very determined to be this way themselves, not to mention how ambitious they can be. I will say I am pretty ambitious, um, usually productive and a little bit competitive. I am pretty productive when I want to be, but I'm also, I've noticed that I'm super competitive and that just stems from like wanting 
I think I'm so personally I'm very like uh, competitive in everything and I'm a very big perfectionist so when I can I am going to want to have everything be perfect and I want to win at all costs um, when I was little my parents would tell me like they had to let me win like if we were playing a game of life or something like if I lost even tic-tac-toe would bring me to the like the idea that I had to win I'm using the elf translucent powder I'm just kind of dusting it on with the beauty blender anyway you guys know that drill um I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm gonna come back and read some more facts and we'll get on with the look <clears throat> excuse that that is autumn being autumn um anyway my throat's a little sore did I mention that already I might have so while I was gone I did my eyebrows and then I did one eye just because um I was trying, I was having a hard time thinking of what I wanted to do for the eyes, so it's just like a pink smoky eye with a blue cut crease, and I wasn't able to incorporate any green because I just feel like if I added a green, it just would have totally thrown everything off. Right now, this already just kind of looks weird to me, but that could just be me being me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing on the eye and continue just reading you guys some facts about a Scorpio moon and a Libra sun. People who aren't so observant will be shocked to see them changing so radically when they have an idea or a goal. Libra sun, Scorpio moon individuals don't rest until they have managed to achieve what they want. I think that is very like spot on as to like the kind of person that I am because I do tend to just like... I'm not gonna stop until I get exactly what I would like and I don't know if that's like a good thing or if it's a bad thing sometimes I feel like I am just stuck in the same spot over and over again because I keep going so maybe that is my problem maybe I need to stop doing that anyway let's get into my eyes I'm gonna prime with my elf sheer eye primer it doesn't have a name it's just this one but I'm gonna start priming I really don't like this primer not because it's bad I just don't think it personally works for me but I need a primer so that's what we're gonna be using I feel like this look would have been great with some glitter or some eyelashes but right now I don't have glitter and I don't necessarily ever use eyelashes but I might start just because I want to experiment a little bit more with my makeup and my looks and stuff so we will see so I'm going to start off using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to try to make like a winged shape using the Lolly Mama shade, which is this one. And I'm going to use this Anastasia brush, but it's just like a nice candy pink shade in my opinion. But yeah, so I will not stop until I achieve exactly what I want in life. Like YouTube, I keep like, maybe I just need to give up type of thing, but and girl's not giving up that easily because I have to achieve the things that I want. Just like I didn't really give up on going to cosmetology school. Like, is this the best time? No, but will there ever be like the best time? Probably not. I wish I had somebody to read off some things about Libra and Scorpio because it's kind of hard to read and do your makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and look up some facts about Libra. Um, I'm going to go into is this Tipsy Girl? I feel like I have this palette memorized because I've seen it so many times. Um, Tipsy Girl, uh, just do it a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this kind of like on the outer V and kind of connect that wing shape that we got going on. Libra facts. Fair, balanced, quick to admit, crazy, clever, loyal, smooth, negotiator, extremely observant, romantic. Um, I don't think I'm balanced, which is why I don't really relate to um, Libra, I feel like I'm more out of balance than I ever am in balance, if that makes sense. Um, I'm just like an out of balance girl. When it comes to anything, I'm not very like organized or just like my moods aren't ever in balance. I feel like 
as a Libra, I'm the most unbalanced Libra. I do feel like I am fair, loyal, and observant, which I'm like a very big people watcher and I will observe till the ends of the earth and I will notice things about people. Like I'll notice something and then I'll tell Matt about, about it and they're like, I didn't even know. And he's like, I didn't notice that. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I tend to observe everyone and everything all the dang time. And it's not like in a rude way, it's just like I notice things about people that um, sometimes other people just wouldn't. I'm very loyal, I, I just, that's just who I am. I tend to, when I'm like your friend or I'm in a relationship with you, like you're the one. There's nobody else in the situation and that's like just something that I always have. The Libra problem, you find it hard to say no when anyone asks for help and you find it frustrating and nobody can calm you down when you are angry. That is very true. I tend to always want to be there to help people whether like I really want to, like whether my heart's really into it, but I, I just, I can't say no. And that kind of makes me a little bit like a pushover, I guess. But you know, like it gets to a point where people kind of take advantage of me and then I get really mad and frustrated and it just becomes an issue, pretty much. I'm gonna go in with Crazy to kind of incorporate the Scorpio colors because it's a nice deep maroon red color. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner and kind of deepen the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush to kind of get the effect that I want. Let's see. Things Libra hates. You hate unnecessary conflict. Also, you hate texting first. It makes you feel like you are annoying. You can't stand selfish and inconsiderate people. I absolutely despise texting first. I don't care who it is or like who you are in my life. Texting my husband first gives me anxiety. Texting friends, family, calling people, like even if it's like calling my mom or my dad, or you know, people that you would think like it wouldn't matter. Um, no, it matters. Uh, I completely lose my shit. It's just not my thing. I hate feeling like I'm being a bother, especially if I know they're like at work or something, and then I have to call them or something for a reason or text them. I just, I absolutely hate that. But the Libra bump motto, I fall too fast, forgive too easily, and care too much. I met Matt and I was, I'm trying to make myself seem nicer or better than I am um, when it comes to love and stuff. But no, I, yeah, that's actually, no, that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, like I met Matt a little bit and then a couple months later, I was like, maybe two months later, I literally told him that I loved him and um, that's how our relationship started. I'm gonna take my concealer to cut my crease. This brush because I left my other brush elsewhere. And that is me cutting my crease badly, but it's okay, we'll blend it all together and it'll it'll work. Um things Libra craves. You crave balance and harmonious relationships. I would say that's kind of true because um, you know, like when we're arguing or we're fighting, I absolutely hate it like whether it's family, friends, my husband and I, Matt, um, I just, I, I hate fighting. The truth is I enjoy fighting, I just don't like doing it for a long period of time. I lose interest and I just want everything to kind of be balanced and peaceful after a while because like I just want to give up. For me, it's not really about like being right or wrong in the situation. It's just like, why are we fighting? I'm not a confrontational person. Libra badass teammates is Scorpio. I've, I think that in kindergarten I had a friend who was a Scorpio. Um, yeah. I'd say we were pretty good friends. Oh, did I tell you guys that on my lid I'm putting canceled? Just this nice blue color. Um, let's see, what else? 
Things that make Libra angry. You get hostile when you feel someone is going after something that belongs to you. Get annoyed when people don't give straight answers. I absolutely hate when Matt will like beat around the bush when it comes to any type of situation, like whether it's band practice. And I think that causes a lot of conflict because I absolutely just hate like beating around the bush. I'm gonna go in with the simulation to kind of blend the colors together and create a purple effect. Three things Libras are good at. Staying neutral, stylish, and soft, and sniff out unwanted things. I'm not sure if I'm stylish. I'm not really good at sniffing out unwanted things. Things that Libra like to do, boat ride and watching a live concert. I do enjoy watching concerts, um, or going to concerts. That was worded weird. Um, you know, I was a scene queen back in my prime and going to concerts was one of my favorite things. So I would agree with that. I don't like boat rides. Um, I can't swim, so I don't want to get stuck on a boat. Then I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette after we kind of got the simulation in the outer corner. I'm going to take this Tarte More Stiff blending brush, if you guys can see that. Just focus over here. <sighs> Whatever. And I'm going to go into the shade Crazy to blend everything kind of together and make it not look so have like such a stark contrast. I'm going to go into another uh, website and I'm going to see some more fun facts about Libra. Um, Libra often alternate between being totally busy to just wanting to sleep all day. Um, I don't really like sleeping all day. I feel like my day is gone if I ever do that. I don't even like sleeping in too late because it gives me anxiety and I feel like I just I lost a whole day. Um, but I do have like days where I want to do all the things and then there's days where I'm just like very unproductive and I just don't feel like doing much of anything anymore. Libra are inclined to distance themselves from their emotions. That is very true. I don't tend to like to dwell on my emotions or I, at least I like to pretend like I don't. Um, I just, there's something about feeling feelings that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't cheat on a Libra. Give them, give, don't cheat on a Libra that give you their entire world. That is true. I get, I understand that concept. Um, because I kind of tend to go all in in relationships and then to find out somebody cheated on you, that's just not cool. I'll just kind of connect that shape. Tipsy Girl and then Crazy and just do like a good old repetition. I'm not going to put any blue on the lower lash line, but just the pinks and the deep reds. Alright, let's look up some famous Libras. Alright, let's see. There's Will Smith, there's Matt Damon, Bruno Mars, Kate Winslet, Julie Andrews, Gwyneth Paltrow, um, Kim Kardashian, Gwen Stefani, Zac Efron. Alright, and then just to get like a nice inner corner look, I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna use the shade I'm in it. I like this shade because it's kind of holographic and it takes on the color of whatever shade you put it on top of, which is kind of cool. I, I enjoy that. I'm going to use that as an eyebrow highlight as well. And then I'm just going to go in with some mascara and then, yeah, this is just the e.l.f. waterproof length and volume mascara. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to look up Libra and Aries compatibility just to see 
if Matt and I are supposed to be a good match or not. Alright, so I did my mascara. Although Aries and Libra are both signs of masculine nature, they are primal opposition of the zodiac and represent a relationship between Mars and Venus, planets in charge of our sex life. When they engage in intimate relationships, it is expected for all their libido and possible problems with sexual expression to surface. Attraction they feel toward each other is great, but their signs combined present passive aggressive behavior in general, and as a couple, they could have a tendency to hurt each other in intimate relations, which I don't know. Does that I think that's really an issue here, but who knows. I need to get my bronzer to kind of bring a little bit of life back into this face. Should I put some highlighter on? I think I'm gonna put some highlighter on. I'm gonna go in with my Pro Highlight pro Profusion thing. Just use Graceful put it up higher on the cheekbones back here, all right here, right there. So same as usual, I'm just going to take my usual Morphe Honeymoon lip liner, line my lips with that and call it a day. My lips have been ridiculously dry, which doesn't make sense because Arizona hasn't been super dry, but I mean... What can you do? Aries and Libra communication and intellect. Aside from possible conflicts, Libra tries to flee from the most flee from most of the time. Their communication usually serves to feed the hungry son of a Libra partner or Aries hungry Saturn. Their opposition covers the points of debilitation and ex exaltation of Saturn and Sun, and this is mainly shown in their communication. Um for the most part, I think it took us a while, like it would take anybody really in any relationship to really get um, into like really communicating well with each other. So I don't think that, personally, I just, I don't think that we should take like our signs and stuff as like a way of understanding if we should be with somebody or not. According to the stars, Libra and Aries aren't necessarily a good match, but they can kind of balance each other out, which I think is the case with myself and Matt. And seen as like I'm not very like inclined to feel a lot like a super classic Libra, and I'm more um, I relate more to like my Pisces or my Scorpio. I think it's like a good match. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you guys use astrology to kind of see if you're compatible with partners or not? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyway, this is the look. Very strange color combo, but I think it kind of goes together. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. I'm going to be vlogging soon. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!